The Kemptena Iron Foundry. Over four tons of molten metal flow into specially prepared molds. Along with digital data via Wi-Fi onto the intranet. Also with the production of brake lines in the southern German town of Schelklingen. A special app helps to collect and evaluate data. In principle, the workflows in a foundry haven't changed in centuries. That's why the vision of Industry 4.0 seems so far from reality at the Kemptena foundry. Still, people here want to optimize the production process through digitalization. A smartphone was chosen to collect the data. People rejected using a video camera for data collection. The alternative was a smartphone app. Everyone can use a smartphone. An app was developed to collect all the necessary data and information. Creating the molds involves a lot of manual labor. A one-to-one -one model of the casting is found in a special molding box. Above it, workers place many other components, such as chills and risers. The performance of the manual tasks greatly affects the quality of the casting. Prior to casting, the model is removed. The negative is formed in so-called molding sand. Under the sand are special canals through which the molten metal flows into the mold. Along the canals, chills are embedded in the molding sand. They're made of a material high in thermal conductivity. During the casting, Molten metal flows through the canals and into the mold. The metal cools faster where the chills are located. That leads to densification, increasing the stability of that section of the casting. During the cooling, however, the metal loses its volume more quickly on the outside than inside, and that can create cavities. That's where the so-called riser comes into play. It is thermally insulated and releases additional molten metal to counter cavity formation. The interplay of canals, chills and risers has a major impact on the quality of the casting. Until recently, the manual work process could not be monitored, but now, a barcode reader scans the molding box and the written description of the task at hand. Together with a photo of the finished work, this data is saved onto a dedicated server. The molding sand is then poured into the box and the mold is completed. The foundry ovens contain melts made up of various compositions. Workers transport the molten metal to the mold in a so-called ladle. Just before the casting, they scan the container, recording the time of the procedure. And since the tapping time is also recorded, the composition of the melt inside the ladle can later be analyzed in detail. Before the actual casting, a lance takes the exact temperature of the melt and transmits it wirelessly to the server. Workers again scan the ladle and finished mold. Now there's an exact record of which melts are poured into which molds at which times, and where the canals, chills, and risers are located in each mold. 
This digital monitoring allows the entire production process to be optimized. The goal is to only melt the exact amount of metals needed for a particular casting. That saves large amounts of material and energy. At Cooper Standard Automotive in Schelklingen, efforts are underway to save energy by using smartphones and apps. The company produces brake lines for the automobile industry. Here, a kilometer-long compressed airline provides some 150 machines with at least 8 bar of pressure. Without this energy, production here would grind to a halt. The problem is, compressed air is produced by electric-powered compressors. And in the process, 97% of the energy is lost as heat waste. Compressed air is also difficult to contain. Companies often have compressed air lines that run for kilometers. One small leak is enough to silently lose hundreds of cubic meters of air that required intensive energy to produce. To find such leaks, the company uses a special ultrasound microphone. The mic can detect the sound of air leaking from tiny holes, sound that is not audible to the human ear. This way, companies can track down even the smallest leaks in the lines, as well as machine connections that are not airtight. In addition, the device calculates the approximate volume of compressed air that escapes from a given spot. If a leak is discovered, technicians mark the spot with a QR code and scan the data into a tablet. Information about the exact position, the amount of leaked air, and the materials needed for repair is saved to a central computer via an app. Maintenance is responsible for any repair work, and the app gives technicians a quick overview. It not only tells them where leaks are located, how much air is escaping, and how much it will cost to repair the leaks, it also calculates the savings made by repairing the leaks. I report these costs directly to management. That frees up other funds that I can use to finance further repairs. So the basic rule of maintenance is do good and talk about it. And following this basic rule, repairs can be done with great efficiency. The app, for example, can create an overview of all needed repairs in a given production hall or along a certain production line. And thanks to the photos and QR codes, repairmen can quickly track down leaks. After taking inventory, technicians can now fix the leaks that are costing the most in energy loss and log them into the system as repaired. We'll never get compressed air completely under control, but if I can reduce leakage by 20 or 30 percent, then the app has paid for itself within a couple of weeks. That's it. And when the casting is removed from the mold, it's ready to go as well. Precise documentation and analysis of the individual steps of production give the Kemptona foundry more than just better time management. The efficient apps also ensure fewer faulty castings and that melts are only produced in the exact amount that is actually needed. For the same number of castings, Kemptona now requires 400 fewer tons of molten metal, thereby saving more than 45,000 euros in energy costs. And thanks to the optimized production process, the improved quality is visible in the final ultrasound test.
We hope this app provides us with a transparent production process. And we hope this transparency allows us to produce more components in less time without having to use more resources. The Foundry app was developed as a project at Kempton University of Applied Sciences with the support of Germany's Federal Environmental Foundation. Compared to other software solutions, apps installed on smartphones and tablets are relatively easy to integrate into any existing production process. Industry 4.0 made easy can save a lot of money and resources.